It is National Library Week, so to celebrate, we've got a few great page turners from the Muhammad Public Library to share this afternoon. Rebecca Strom is back with us. <laughs> Welcome, Rebecca. Thanks. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I like the theme. Yeah. It seems very on point for your job. Very on point. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I brought in four different library-themed books today. Um, do you want me to go ahead and get started yeah, with the first one? Yeah, let's start. What do we have here? So the first one there is an adult nonfiction book. Um, it's called The Library Book by Sus uh, Susan Orlean. And this book uses the historical framework of the fire that um, destroyed the Los Angeles Public Library in 1989 oh. to kind of reflect on how the role that libraries play in our society today. And so it gives us this kind of historical view, but also talks about what's happening um, in our contemporary culture as well. Okay, so this is probably more for grown-ups. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Although you could share some of the yes, lessons learned share with some the kids. of the knowledge. <laughs> but uh, kind of moving down the line here, we have a chapter book. Yep, so we've got a middle grade fiction book called The Library of Ever, and this book is is about a girl named Lenora who stumbles on this secret doorway that gives her access to this really like futuristic cool library that has like the wisdom of the entire universe in it. And suddenly she becomes like the apprentice librarian and she set off on all these adventures and a quest to save the library from this dark force that wants to like get rid of all the Whoa. knowledge. That yeah. sounds awesome. It's great for kids who love adventures. It's kind of a shorter read as well, so you could get through it pretty quickly. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Magic School Bus, maybe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, like yeah, there's definitely there's a little bit of tra time travel and cool, cool. stuff like that. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And then we have some stuff here for the kids. Yeah, for the little library. Yep. I've got two picture books. So this one here is um, a library by Nikki Giovanni, and this is just a very sweet poetic um, book about a little girl who one morning is going to go to the library to return her library books and. Along the way, she shares with the reader all the things that make libraries special. And so it's just a really great poetic ode to libraries and librarians. Oh, that's awesome. And then finally, number four. Number four. Is Madeline Finn and the Library Dog. Yes. As you might gather from the title, this involves a furry friend at the library. It's about a little girl named Madeline who um, says that she does not like reading, right? Or that's what she thinks. But she discovers after going to a library program where she gets to read to a dog that reading can actually be a really magical experience, especially when it's shared with a furry friend. That's awesome. Now, I got to say, like, it's National Library Week, right? And so it takes me back to, I think, a time when most kids wouldn't remember, but the library catalog cards that oh, they yeah. used to have in the oh, drawers. Yeah. And to find books like this, we yes. would go through and we pull them out. And oh, yeah. I remember going to the library was a treasure hunt <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> and it was just so much fun. Yeah. So it's neat to kind of celebrate just libraries in general, the history, we've got stuff to inspire the kids moving forward, but you also have an event coming up. Yes, we have our very popular, this is our fifth annual um, Jigsaw Puzzle Contest coming up on Saturday, May 4th um, from 1 to 3 p.m. That's for all ages. You can register as a team of up to four people, um, and basically the participants get whatever time it takes for the first team to finish a uh, jigsaw puzzle. They race against each other, um, and the winning team gets to go home with a prize. All right, and yeah. how big are these teams? Are they small teams, adults, kids, So um, Usually we see a lot of families that will register as a team, but we also will get older adults. It, it's a really fun multi-generational event. That's awesome. So bring the kids, bring yes. the grandparents, yeah, everybody absolutely. gather together. Lots of fun happening over <laughs> at the Muhammad Library. If you want to learn more about what's going on, be sure to visit our website, ciliving.tv, after today's show.